Hello my dear friends, welcome to Recycle Bin channel. Today we are going to see a new video. Let us see what today we are going to see. This is Azure's laptop and this error you can find uh, all of the laptops HP, Dell, Acer, Asus all kinds all kind of models you can find this error now I'm going to switch on this laptop it's switching on yep We had to wait some time just to appear the screen and this is the error I'll make closer reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media in selected boot device and press a key when you press a key continuously you will get, you will get this error when you get this error you have to see the three options first option you have to remove the back side cover of the laptop and see whether the hard disk is connected properly to the motherboard second option we have to see in the boot bios basic input output system you have to see inside whether we select the first booting device like OS boot manager or a hard drive whatever it is and third option if both are okay we have to see for the operating system so now we will see the first option I will open the back cover of this laptop and we will check whether the hard disk, hard disk is connected properly or not I'm handling this camera with another hand so I'm going to pause this video after uh, opening the backside layer sure, surely I will show you now I open this backside layer of this computer this hard disk is fixed properly nothing is issue with the hard disk connecting uh, part now we will uh, go for uh, the BIOS and I am going to close this layer after closing this layer we will see the BIOS option whether it's uh, changing any that legacy or U, uh, U, UFEI mode or anything let us see now I am going to switch on this laptop uh, and I am continuously pressing F2 this is Azure's model to enter the BIOS we have to press F2 continuously now the BIOS screen is appeared in this we can see this hard disk is directed uh, before that before that when I am changing time I didn't uh, take the video uh, I was busy at that time now I will show you where I changed that option uh, when you see like these options you can see if you give next next this DVD drive before when uh, the option were not detected it was showing like this empty and there was no any option to to check backward or for, uh, forward to the, whether the hard disk or, or other device is enabled or not and now it's enabled for that what the option I changed I will show you I had gone to the advanced mode in this advanced mode you can see all the options available here
there's the options you can go for uh, advance in the advance you can see all the options here for a uh, land and which virtualization all seals flash utilities smart setting networks usb configuration graphic configuration sata configuration all in this board section you can see cms support cms support before it was disabled and i have changed to enable this option and one more settings this is the important one where is it where is it in this there is a secure boot option secure boot option if is if that one is enabled uh, sometime finding the hard disk in this bios option sometime it will be disabled whenever in the bios settings when you are open if the secure uh, secure boot is enabled just disable it this one and uh, where i find that option yeah see these two option i enable if you disable the cms support you will uh, that in the in this security the automatically that secure option will be enabled from that you have to change uh, like there will be two option enable and disable you have to disable that uh, secure boot after that secure boot disable this hard disk and uh, dvd everything is enabling automatically i have changed uh, that option there and this it's uh, if we change here we'll uh, disable let me disable that one now fast boot let me this fast boot is disabled when you see ms support if you disable the fast boot uh, option will be enabled and this you have to give uh, enable and the fast boot also should be enabled in both it must be enabled otherwise let me select enable yeah both must be enabled and from there you will you can find this delete boot option everything only i change from here if anybody face this problem you can do as i do same and in the security you can set any password or uh, this is input on port interface security LAN wireless everything everything is available here this input output because, uh, for uh, the USB and LAN port all options are inside ok now I am uh, save this one let me exit for save you can press F10 Is whether it's booting from Windows or uh, yeah, now it's booting from Windows. Only to change the secure boot option and CMS support, and you can select, uh, check the fast boot also whether it is enabled or disabled. Try to check these settings uh, like this BIOS if you find in like hp dell or uh, another uh, laptops you will find like directly this is a, like a graphical mode that's in the text mode uh, that bo this uh, bios is coming like a graphic graphical mode so you can uh, finding this option so it will be like a little difference in the text mode it will be very easy you can also change from there so updating your system so this is how to change this option for uh, enabling your hard disk 
and thank you for watching my video if you have any doubts any queries you can just text me on the comment box thank you for watching my video and bye bye see you